Having healthy stomach acid levels is critical to nutrient absorption, gut health, and overall well-being. Unfortunately, many people suffer from low levels. So in this video, I will explain why stomach acid is important for your body, how to increase stomach acid production naturally, and which foods and supplements can help you see results faster. Okay, first things first, what is stomach acid and why is it important? Stomach acid or gastric acid, whatever you want to call it, refers to the digestive fluid that is naturally produced by the cells aligning the stomach. It consists of hydrochloric acid that breaks down food and kills harmful bacteria. Understanding it's important has to do a lot with digestion. So here's a simple explanation of what happens in your body when you eat food and stomach acid secretion is triggered. It all actually starts when you see or smell something that is delicious. Your body will then start to release more saliva and stomach acid. But most of it will be secreted once you swallow the actual food and it arrives in your stomach. As a rule of thumb, the greater the protein content of your meal, the more stomach acid your body will release. This highly acidic substance is important for several reasons. One, it neutralizes harmful pathogens like yeast and bacteria through its acidic properties. This is important to avoid food poisoning or an upset of the delicate balance of gut bacteria. Two, the acidity activates pepsin, which is a protein digesting enzyme that is required alongside hydrochloric acid to start splitting apart the protein molecules to get to the actual amino acids that your body can absorb. And three, stomach acid also helps make nutrients in the food more accessible for absorption. For example, the absorption of minerals primarily takes place within the small intestine. But this can only happen if the minerals are in an ionic form. Stomach acid helps ionize the minerals in food, so without it, your food could be super nutrient dense but you won't absorb any of the nutrients properly. With this list of important roles of stomach acid in front of us, we can also understand which symptoms occur when stomach acid production doesn't work right. The medical term for this is hypochlorhydria, and symptoms include gas, bloating, acid reflux, and cramping. Unfortunately, these are almost the same symptoms as having too much stomach acid, which is why differentiating between the two can be tricky. Obviously, always talk to a doctor about this, but just so you know, many people who think they have too much stomach acid actually have too little. Why? Because a lack of stomach acid causes the sphincter muscle to not close completely, which means some of your remaining acid will make it out of the stomach and cause acid reflux. Another factor that could cause acid to pass back upwards is insufficient protein digestion which creates gas that increases abdominal pressure and pushes acid upwards. Now, assuming you have low stomach acid, what caused this and how can you increase your stomach acid production naturally? The main causes include high stress, a diet high in processed and refined foods, and old age. That's because all three lead to deficiencies in nutrients that are critical to stomach acid production. You see, our entire body requires certain nutrients to even have the raw materials to produce hydrochloric acid. The most important are zinc, B vitamins, especially B1 and B6, and chloride. Zinc and B vitamins are depleted by stress and especially low in processed foods, and this creates a vicious cycle. Because if you lack the nutrients necessary to produce hydrochloric acid, your body won't be able to properly digest food which in turn leads to more nutrient deficiencies. So breaking through this vicious cycle usually means you need to supplement. Now, as you probably know, I'm not a big fan of supplementing blindly. So instead, follow the steps I outline in my guide on how to properly diagnose and fix deficiencies to find out what you truly need. Because we're all different and so is our biochemistry. For example, most people need a zinc supplement, but then get side effects if they take too much. This can be an indicator of copper toxicity, which causes both the side effects and the low zinc levels. Besides fixing your nutrient deficiencies with a special focus on zinc and the B vitamins, there are also a few other things you can do to boost stomach acid production. They include avoiding drinking large amounts of water with meals, as this will dilute your gastric juices, eating the protein portion of your meal first, that's because protein stimulates the gastric acid release, 
However, like I mentioned in a different video, I don't do this because I think it overcomplicates my eating habits, but it is something that you can try for yourself. And lastly, chewing your food thoroughly as this makes overall digestion easier. Now, before I wrap up this video, let me quickly talk about supplements other than zinc and vitamin B that might help. First is betaine HCL, which is an acidic form of betaine, a vitamin-like substance found in grains and other foods. The HCL stands for hydrochloride, and betaine hydrochloride is the closest thing we have to supplementing stomach acid directly. It significantly lowers the pH level in your stomach, so it makes it more acidic, which is why it should only be taken together with meals. Just as a side note, please don't confuse betaine HCL with TMG betaine, which is a different product entirely. Next, you might consider taking digestive enzymes. There are many different products out on the market, and most important here is pepsin, which like I said before is the enzyme that breaks down proteins. Usually, betaine hydrochloride supplements already come with pepsin, so you don't need to buy it separately. And lastly, I also want to recommend my personal favorite digestion supplement, which is a fairly unknown product called GB3 by a company called Endomet. While it doesn't have betaine hydrochloride, instead it includes naturally occurring enzymes including ox bile, pancreatine, and Russian black radish. In practice, these work very well to enhance digestion and nutrient absorption. So this is something I wanted to mention. As always, you might have to try a few different products and see which works best for you. Hopefully, this video helped you understand the underlying cause of low stomach acid and how to overcome it.